Hey, so, so I know the other day you said you wanted to do a lot of coaching. I guess they played. Do you know how many snaps you played and just how did you feel about the day and when they told you you were going to be starting? Um, I, I definitely honestly do not know how many snaps I played. It, it definitely felt good to get out there, though. And once it was like it was time to actually for me to shut it down, it was still kind of hard to do that. I actually still wanted to keep going. So, I mean, it's that competitive edge. You, you say you want to um, coach and things like that, but it's, it's, it's harder when it's actually time for you to settle down. So, so, uh, Eric Gregory and, and Soli both had two TFLs today. What did you make of their game? I feel like they had a pretty productive game. We all got things we need to work on, but they're learning and they're making steps forward to make to, to become great players. So I feel like they're they're doing what they're asked to do and doing was doing what they need to do. Just for both in general, you feel that the spring game you all finished the way you wanted to defensively, particularly that first half. Um, first half, I feel like. We f we finished pretty good. It was a it was a lax. It felt like we kind of got lax in the middle of it, and we kind of gave away a couple of plays. But overall, especially first half, I think we definitely finished how we wanted to finish. Yeah, um, I would to chime on that a little bit. Yeah, I definitely think we finished how we wanted to finish. Um, there's always room for improvement, especially with Chief. He's never satisfied, especially if we were to hold him to zero points. So um, I think we I think he's definitely got a smile on his face right now. Uh, but there's definitely there's room for improvement. Just how you feel, just you all did the spring without Scooter, just didn't have any adjust without him. Uh, we definitely, uh, as a linebacker core, we had a lot of people step up. Like me and Bumper had to step up. We had to lead. Um, I also think that just as a whole, I think that people realize like, like Scooter's the guy. Like, and we got to have him still. Like, we got to just get more depth behind him. But we've we've known that we can still win with anybody. We can still go ahead and just keep pushing forward. But we know Scooter's the guy, and we know he's going to be there and be the leader that we need. The way the game started, um, was that pretty reflective of how spring's gone at the first unit on defense? Is a lot of three and outs and y'all kind of held them down. Has that been reflective of much of spring? I would say like I would say like we've got we've definitely had those like days like where like we've done that we've gone three and out three and out but then like there's days where the belt like the belt I guess that's kind of what you're referring to because like, we've won the belt a lot like but like we win that from turnovers a lot like there's days the offense will beat us in every single first down they'll beat us they'll score touchdowns but then we get four or five turnovers in a day and then that's how we win the belt and that's why defense that's why we win the day but uh, I would say like the defense the one defense has done really well with controlling the offense but they've also done they've also done well against us too. What did y'all think of Trey Knox? I mean, he made an individual play that got resulted in a touchdown. Has he been yeah. doing that this spring? Yeah, he's been doing that a lot this spring. Um, Trey Knox, he's a great player. I feel like he's going to be great for the present and the future. Um, I think he's a three-year type of guy. Type of guy. I feel like three and he's going to be out. But he, he's a great talent, and all I can tell is Red Bay fans to enjoy him while he's here. You want to expand on that? Um, from watching, from watching him from our side of the view, like just being able to play like coverage against him and everything, I know when he's over on my side, like we have to be aware of the little jump balls that are going to go up to him and turn around and run into him. But um, I definitely agree with him. I think he could be a three, four year guy, just like come out quick. Um, but the thing is, he's got to keep his head down, and I think he's got that good mindset and a good character. He's a good character kid. He's got Great a really character. well head on. <laughs> he's got a really good uh, head on his shoulders, and he's going to be able to. I think he's going to keep grinding, kind of like Mike Woods too. And I think with Mike Woods going out and not playing these last couple of days, like I think that's what Trey's kind of stepped up and elevated his game from. So I, I agree with him. I guess Dev, Dev I hadn't, you know, he's missed a lot of spring. What did you guys think of his performance today? Was it just good to see him back out there? Yeah, it was definitely good to see Dev running good and running just running being out there. Uh, but the, run, the running backs in general, they've done really well, especially with just the health issues that they've had with just Rakeem out. But I know that Chase and Devois, they've really stepped up and done well this spring. Yeah. It was good to see his production go up, back up. Um, he's been battling some injuries, so it, it was great to see him actually push forward and get out there and make a couple plays. Mm -hmm. Hated it came at our expense, but <laughs> good to see him make some plays. Yeah, I'm not real good at math, but I guess the defense ended up winning with the scoring uh, system. How do you guys feel about that? I think if you reflect of how like the offense defense thought they did today, I think they would say defense won as well. Um, uh, but I I don't know how the scoring goes. We just 
I wasn't really like we were looking at the scoreboard, but like we'd we'd yell after we'd get a sack and say I had seven points. We didn't know if it was one, two, or three, but we were just we didn't really know how the multiplication, addition, or whatever you want to call it goes. So yeah, we didn't know how that was going. Yeah, we just we just played football right there. So you you came in to this place with a lot of hype as well, like a lot of these guys, like Trey has. What what's your message to those guys about how to sort of handle that? Uh, just keep grinding, cause I mean the hype's gonna come with it. The Attention's gonna come with it, but if you don't handle it well or you don't perform, um, things can turn bad real quick. It can, it, bec- it can, your career can become very sour. So you just gotta stay level headed, stay focused, and just keep grinding. Two more. Yeah, I think you guys only got one, one first sack, but I guess you did okay with that. Um, what, what you think of the, I, the Devin had a pick six? I guess they, they blew the whistle, but it was like a pick six. What, what, what'd you guys think of that play? I thought it was a good play. I thought he broke on the ball well. Um, I guess JS was thinking he was going to cut out, but he didn't. But uh, Devin broke on the ball, read the QB's eyes, and just he's just making plays. That's what he's been got here to do. That's what he's been doing. So I think that's just that's something normal with those Louisiana boys. So it's good to see him out there and make a play that he deserved. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, but that's the kid I was talking to um, about being excited to play in his first spring spring game. So it, it was just good to see him out there enjoying it, making plays, flying around, you know making tackles and things like that. So it was just good to see him, actually. Like when he came to the sideline, to see the excitement on his face, it kind of gave me my years back because I remember how it was my first year. Just for both of you guys, uh, what has Ben Hicks brought to the team and to the offense specifically? Mm, I, don't know. I feel like he, he's brought attitude to the team. Um, Ben is a competitor, you can see it in him. I feel like every time he touches the ball, he wants to score. So that's something that we have to be on alert for. Every time we come out, we got to make sure that every we're alert in every situation. Make sure watching the ball, make sure um, you watch for screen, tunnel passes, things like that. Make sure you watch for deep balls. You know, so like every time we come to take the field, we're we're preaching that to everybody, preaching that to the D-line, preaching that to the corners and the linebackers. Yeah, um, he's a he's a veteran, um, definitely, and he gained respect from our guys, the offensive guys, the, even the young guys, um, super early. Um, just right when he got here, they were they were doing more than we've ever done. I'd, I'd go through the indoor, just watching them, or going to get my workout in, and they've been they're all in there throwing with him, and he's just gained they gained, he gained his their respect, like from the very get go, and I think that's just he's brought them around him. He's He's really stepped into that role and just been a leader, and that's just exactly what they do. Like he's one of my good buddies. He's a good guy off the field too. Like, but he's just he's going to be there and he's going to lead that team just the way we want him to. I think. Thanks, guys. Yep. Thank you all.